Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, uh, I think the reason, so we, we, when we started, we started as an electric moped, or in the US we call it moped, or here, electric scooter company. And uh, we've been in Europe since 2016. And now a few years down the road, we actually look at, because we're actually always looking at a solution for urban mobility. What are the devices, what are the new devices we can provide to the users such that they can commute in the city more conveniently, avoid the traffic, and also in style, and also safely. Right, so that's what we've been looking at. Now for Europe, we actually look at, when we travel Europe multiple times, we see actually there are quite a lot of cities actually have dedicated bike lane, right? When you talk about Amsterdam, you can talk about Berlin, you talk about Hamburg, you see those bike lanes. And then you see people riding bikes, there are some you know, regular bikes, and you see people riding electric bikes, and so that require less effort. And we realize actually an electric bike is an integral part of this urban mobility solution. And so we've been observing what's the product, what the product already out there, and see, okay, you know, what are the user's pain point? I think one of the things, you know, my product, I talk and probably talk about some other pain point, one will be actually when we look at the bike lanes, when we look at some city without a bike lane, where the road condition when we got the cobblestones. Right? So any sort of bike, when you ride a lot on the cobblestones, you get a back pain because you get anti the suspension is no good. And it was coming from the motorcycle industry, we understand how important those suspensions are. Right? So we say, okay, let's actually come up with a better electric bike that actually get the best from scooters or motorcycles and also from bicycles. What are the features we're getting from scooters? One is actually the better suspension, right? We get a front and, front and back dual suspension. So that allows user to ride comfortably on any sort of low conditions. Second, with the scooters, you get a bigger batteries. So let's actually give user a bigger battery such that it will actually extend their riding distance and they don't have to worry about charging, right? So with our U e EB, the battery is about one kilowatt hour, such that uh, one charge with a little pedal assistant can get you about 120 kilometer driving distance. No one's, gonna, not a lot of people are gonna ride 120 kilometers in one day, right? So usually you do about 20 in a day, so that means what, you only have to charge it once, right? And thirdly, it's actually a lighting system, because on the motorcycle market, scooter market, lighting is important. You need to make sure, it's important for you to see the road, but more importantly, it's actually for other people to see you, right? That's actually the most safety feature. On the bicycles, people don't care too much about that because people always thought, well, you know, we're on the bicycle lane, we're on the pedestrian walk, it's okay. But still, it's actually important to make sure people see you. So we're taking that same concept from motorcycle, from scooters, that old lighting system, and put on our EB. So that's what we got from sort of the scooter side. Now from bicycle side, we understand that to be on a bike lane, you have to be able to paddle, and then you have to have a bicycle wheel such that user can sit very comfortably. And also, people with a bicycle, people like to have change speed. Right? So we come with a Shimano nice speed setting, and also we have a very ergonomic design such that you can paddle. And more importantly, with the scooters, with moped, usually it weights quite a bit. You know, our scooter N weighs about 90 kilo. Right? And then even with M plus, those ones weigh about 50 some kilo. With bikes, people want to be a lighter weight. Right? So we had to change the form factor a bit, such that the CB actually with a battery, it weighs about, I think it's about 35 to 38 kilos, depending on the battery capacity. So it's very light. Obviously it's not gonna be as light as your 10 kilo high performance bikes, but it's very light compared to scooters. So the user can feel that it can carry it very comfortably. So I think that's the initial mindset or initial this product generation uh, of EB. And then we, are, we, are, we are actually very proud to actually to announce it this year at ECMA because I think it's European, this particular bike is going to be, um, to be honest, I think the European market is the right market for this. Yeah, it's a, I think on, on the EB, we're actually, um, we're taking most of the components, we're taking the best from the industry, right? Uh, battery cells, which use extremely high density, top top notch Panasonic battery cells, right? The the multi speed setting that was Shimano, right? 
And obviously, there are other things like frame, tires, some of the stuff will be actually local manufacturers from Europe where we source and assemble the bike here as well. So um, uh, this is something that we're looking at. It's a, uh, we don't view this just as a bicycle. With all our product, we view it as a, a smart connected device. It's almost like a consumer electronics. Right? So this bike is also going to have an IoT device. It has an app. Or on the app, you can turn on the app. You can actually see all the information of the bike, uh, similar as what you get with a new scooter. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. Set. <coughs> um, so, hey, uh, today we are bringing the all new uh, GT series in ECMA. Include the uh, uh, update NGT and also the brand new MGT and UGT. You can see it's, uh, from size-wise, they're family. From biggest NGT to smallest UGT. Just meet all the people the, in the uh, city to help him them uh, like, like avoid the traffic jam. And also the thing is uh, we try to bring all the new technologies in our product. So for example, for the uh, MGT, we have our own developed uh, all new four color uh, TFT dashboard. We have our uh, PKE uh, smart locker. We try to uh, bring a technology from all the car industry and robot industry to helping people in their daily use much more convenience in daily commute. And also uh, the new guys in uh, our uh, product line is uh, new Aero EB. As EB, we think about those type of products for about three years. We do a lot of uh, field research in whole Europe, also US, and uh, eventually we, ro we rolled out this. It's, uh, I can say it's uh, if a new scooter marry with a new aero bicycle, and new aero EB will be a baby, will be this baby. It's because they have uh, all the convenience uh, feelings from the, the, the uh, scooter and also have uh, the same uh, family design language from existing new family design. Also, we bring really good uh, like uh, e-bike riding experience into the product. Yeah. So this new EB, uh, who is the ideal customer? Uh, actually, in, in past a couple of years, every year in ECMA, people ask me, OK, uh, I have my uh, scooter, but also I want some time exercise and also riding uh, in the cities with an e-bike. It's because it's a different culture. And we try to understand this uh, culture deeply. And uh, the thing is uh, uh, people in the city, sometimes they, they have to be climbing in the, in the uh, uh, kind of small hills and also do their uh, daily commute. Also, we uh, both think the biking uh, uh, culture is the DNA in Europe. They're not only thinking about convenience to uh, uh, travel, uh, commute in the city, they also want to have the feelings of riding. And the, the EB is the best uh, solution, which is uh, you have your riding uh, culture and riding experience, also with super convenient uh, Commutes uh, styling. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you want to tell me something more technically about this product? Like, you know, if I. Zoom yeah, actually, you can see all, all the designs uh, pure uh, new design DNA. We have the, our holo lamp, we have a, a really nice brand new uh, air, uh, LCD dashboard. Most important thing is so we think about people's uh, like using behaviors. We have our uh, uh, battery, which is from our U series, is like literally one kilowatt hour battery. Uh, you can run in for one charge over 100 kilometer. It's more than your weekly uh, usage. And the battery himself, only like five kilogram. You can take, take back to home charging easily. Also, we bring uh, all new uh, wireless technology from our uh, scooter product line, the 4G connection, the Bluetooth, the, all the anti theft function. And uh, actually, just use your phone. Even 
doesn't matter Android or iOS, you can see all the information of your bike. Mm -hmm. But the most charming things you can see is uh, if you look at the, the uh, mileage, also the battery uh, percentage, it's a pure based on your riding behavior. It's all the, all the big data analysis system will tell you if you riding on this uh, uh, e-bike, how long you can, you can ride. It's, it's uh, more about uh, personal, uh, personalization. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, but uh, tell me something about, uh, about ECMA in general or about uh, the European market. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Because uh, I know that you are growing a lot. You, you pass right from 16 to 24 in the <laughs> market. A study, so. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's, uh, mm -hmm. because I, I know that in, like in Shanghai, you are so, so popular. Now, <laughs> in Italy, uh, in Italy, we know maybe only Vespa. Um, so what, what is? Uh, uh, Italy what, has what, a lot of brand. I love it, actually. Uh, for for uh, personally, I buy all the all the, uh, every year I'm come here buy all my whole year clothes, shoes, jeans, clothes. I'm a huge fan of Diesel, yeah, <laughs> the, the the fashion brand Diesel. And also the thing is, uh, uh, this is I think uh, fifth years we are participate EGMA. Uh, in 2015, when we just launched our N series. Uh, in, I think, uh, end of uh, May. And in uh, November, we come to ECMA with only four scooters. It's exactly the same scooter with a really small boost, 25 square meter or something. And it's really helping us to open the market. It's because I know Italy is a, is a, is a like, uh, culture has the two, uh, with the two wheelers. It's a too many history in this country. And also we think it's, uh, uh, if you want to build something really nice, you should be go to their homeland. And to, to let the, the, the people has uh, like more than 15 years experience in this industry. This is our first time, we c uh, it's a reason, first time we come here. But uh, uh, something interesting is, uh, even we have really small booths, and people coming to our booth to ask, okay, are you from Japan, from Korea? I would say, okay, we're from China. <laughs> they just, okay, the design is from Italy? <laughs> it's because, yeah, uh, we think all the beauty stuff around the world is the same. But uh, experience is uh, 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 in the two wheelers in other country is not deep than Italy. This is why we are coming to, to ECMA every year. First of all, we can see all the most advanced trend in the whole two-wheeler industry. Also, we can see which part we can get, make it better, and what else some deep experience is other company or other product they haven't noticed, and we can uh, 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 like make it happen. Yeah. I think uh, we are okay. Just uh, the last question, okay. but this even for my curiosity. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have a new scooter in Rome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, the, I don't know why, but the, when I stop in a light, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The, the people, the only question is how much... Uh, uh, how many kilometers can do? Uh -huh, uh -huh. The people is want to move to electric, but they are worried. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, yep. so this um, about this new bike. Uh, okay, I understand that if you help, uh, you can do a lot uh, more kilometers. Right? Yeah, yeah. But if the you, EB, you yeah. can use only with the B, but you if you use only the motor, you can use like as a scooter. Uh cannot. It's ah. because it's uh, you need to help. Yeah, it's a uh, European standard. The the max speed is twenty five kilometer, and you should be paddling with uh, associate uh, uh, power. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how much takes to charge the battery? Uh, actually, it's only four hours. If you draw to empty, and uh, fully charges around five hours. But normally, uh, our user is charging from uh, forty percent to uh, to charge it for is like three hours. Okay. 
Yeah, the main design is uh, we want user like just charge it weekly. The first one is convenience. Second, it's really uh, help the, the, the barrier for a long lifetime. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.